I was uh, tearing apart an old phone to salvage some parts out of it, and I found something I thought you might find interesting. There's not a lot in these things anymore. A uh, few chips and a couple spare parts. Obviously, you know, capacitors are nice. Um, and there's a transistor over here. There's an odd little switch right there. But that's not what this is about today. It is this component right there. Let's get in there real tight and uh, see what that is and, and uh, kind of try to figure out what's going on. Here is the mystery object. And yeah, if it looks like a neon bulb, like that, that's because that's exactly what it is. Uh, it, they put a purple dot on it. My guess is that purple dot up here is to indicate a breakdown voltage. So why would you put a neon bulb inside of a telephone where it can't be seen? Uh, what purpose could it possibly have? And the answer is that another component that can be substituted for this would be a capacitor. Now, a capacitor, I mean, you know, the telephone lines operate what? At, uh, uh, when it rings, I think it's 70 to 80 volts. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong, but... Uh, something like that. And you don't want all these chips and other components back here to have to be rated, you know, high voltage and all that. And you also have lightning strikes that'll come in over the, uh, over the wire. So you need to get rid of those and those spikes can be really high. So this component will handle a, uh, a spike starting at its breakdown voltage, which can be actually pretty low. I've seen them 35 volts and maybe even lower. But anything that's above that will just arc across those two contacts and kind of safely exit the phone through the ground. So, yeah, this is a, uh, a way of getting rid of, of uh, over voltages that come in, it, are introduced in different ways, and it's a rather in, inexpensive way. And the benefit over a capacitor is this really has an unlimited upside. Uh, obviously, current will kill it, but... Uh, you know, small sparks, uh, you could have up to, you know, hundreds of volts and it'll just harmlessly arc across there as opposed to putting in a very large capacitor and uh, hoping to catch that. And a very large capacitor will end up costing more. Okay, well, that was it. Just this kind of odd little bit of trivia. In the past, I had a 1972 Chevy Caprice and it had a mechanical voltage regulator and the contacts, it works like a relay and the contacts would burn out very frequently. So I ended up putting two uh, neon bulbs, uh, one across each of the contacts, and never replaced another one. So yeah, it's a very interesting technology, kind of old school, but still very effective. I well, hope you found that useful and interesting in your electronics work.